Welcome back everybody. Okay, so for this solo glitch what you want to do is you want to start off in uh, story mode, go to your settings, put yourself in free aim. Okay, so once you've got yourself into free aim, as you can see here, we'll just get up the menu. Okay, settings, you want to be in free aim. There we go. That's how you change it guys, you change it in story mode. For the people that don't know about this glitch, you have to start in free aim and have your last location online as your bunker. So that's what we're going to do from here guys, we're just going to load in. And as you can see we'll load into the bunker. This is a pretty easy glitch guys. Smash the like on the video, subscribe if you're new and hit that notifications bell guys. Okay. So right, now we've spawned inside the bunker, what we want to do is we just want to walk outside. As soon as we get outside, we're going to just, uh, we can either teleport down to the uh, bunk uh, to the Eclipse Tower. A lot of people are doing this in their CEO Tower, and you end up at the uh, Eclipse Tower anyway, for some weird reason, I don't know how that works. But we, uh, this method, guys, if you follow each step, you will uh, successfully merge your car solo. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to get on down to the uh, Clips Tower. I just job teleported down there, guys. You can make your way down there by, with a car or something. I wouldn't say a personal vehicle, but just street car will do. Okay, so once you make your way down to the uh, flats, what we're going to do, guys, just make me way in here. Okay. So from here what we're going to do is we're just going to bring up the telephone and we're not going to do no quick job. We're going to bring up the telephone and where are we? Okay, I'm going to go to, not the activity job, sorry guys, it's uh, play a quick job, it's heist. Okay, we're going to go to join lobby direct and we're going to sit on that and we're going to click on, click on the first option, click on the second option, get that, uh, you know, looking for the job. Alright, now what we want to do from here guys is just bring up the apartment style with your interaction menu and just sit on this. And we're just going to sit on this, sometimes it takes, you know, a minute or two. It can take a little bit, so to, don't uh, don't jump off the interaction menu guys, because if it loads into the job and you're not on the interaction menu, you probably will not hit this glitch. So what we're going to do from here guys, we're just going to wait. Um, with the menu open, and from here... As soon as we load into the job, we're going to press X, which will pretty much, you know, when you press X on the apartment styles, it fades into a black screen. What it'll do is it'll probably fade into that black screen as it goes and loads you into the job. That glitches you out. As that's glitching you out, you want to, um, as soon as you jump into the job, you kind of, uh, I'll take it for, I'll, I'll pretty, I'll show you what's going on, guys. So <laughs> it seems a little bit, you know, tricky, but it's, pretty simple this is just the only little tricky bit here but you can repeat this method you know endlessly so but it doesn't take too long anyway it's just loading into the job that takes a little bit but it's pretty much you know it's flawless like you hit it every time like I tried it this afternoon and I've hit it like every time I've tried it it's just the loading into the job part that kinda pisses me off a little bit but uh, to be honest with you guys it's it's pretty easy so and it's solo too. Alright, so now we've loaded into the job. You can see in the top left hand corner my interaction menu is still there. What we want to do from here is we just want to quit the job. But as we want to do that, we want to have our double tap set up so we can join uh, someone in a different targeting mode. As you do, you want to accept the first alert, decline the second alert, and you'll see yourself falling through the map as we are now. Okay. So once you've uh, fell through the map, there we go. Uh, you can either, like I said, drive a car down to the arena, or you can job teleport down there. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to job teleport down there. Make it a bit quicker. Okay, where are we? Every time you do the job teleport, it always comes up to that first alert. Pretty much 9 times out of 10. So all you got to do is just go back down to that same job, and you just want to uh, go back on that, accept that, do your double tap. When you do your double tap, Join your friend in a different targeting mode, accept the first alert, decline the second. That'll uh, give you the uh, job teleport. That'll bring you on your way down to the arena. Okay. 
So like I said, that wasn't too hard to uh, get yourself glitched out, you know. It's pretty simple, guys. It's just waiting on the job to load in. Other than that, this is pretty dope. If you haven't got cars that you want to merge, you have to merge them this way. Okay, so yeah, drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notifications bell. So you don't miss out when I upload glitches like this. Also, shout out to the founders. Alright, we want to go into workshop level. Once we've made our way into the uh, arena. I've already bought one of the uh, new cars. Well, last week's car anyway, so I didn't get a chance to merge it, so I'm going to merge it um, in this video. Sucks pretty much that they didn't release another vehicle, but what can you do? Hopefully they drop one this Thursday. Okay, so what you will need for this uh, for this uh, solo method, you will need some RC, you will see, need uh, Benny's wheels on your RC, guys. So that's the only uh, issue with that one. If you haven't got that, I'm sorry for you guys, but uh, we're working on it in the community. <laughs> it's a it's a hard one to try and get, but uh, all right. All you want to do is take your car into the mod shop. Press right on the D-pad, bring your car into the mod shop. Alright, from here you just want to back out of this, guys. You don't want to do anything. Pretty much just want to exit the vehicle, but yep, as you can see, my car's totally stock. Right, now just make your way over to the RC. As we go over to the RC, we're just going to back out of that. And we're going to walk back over to the, uh, the car. We're going to hop in this. All we're going to do, guys, we're just going to hold pause button down. And we're going to press, we're going to hold left. And we're going to kind of release them at the same time. And what you'll find is you'll kind of get that type of screen right there, a frozen -y type of screen, and then you'll get this black screen and your pause menu will come up. What you want to do is just sit on this for about two or three seconds. Once you've done that, back out of that. Uh, sometimes what can happen is you can get an uh, infinite black screen and you've got to start from scratch and do the whole glitch again. Or you'll come out of it like I just did. And what you'll find is if you run up to the vehicle that we just brought in that was stock okay there it is it has been fully merged guys so that is a solo Benny's merge right there it's got the Yankton the 3d paint pure whites on the spindles and yeah guys that's how it's done so it's like I said it's not really that hard I've merged a couple just playing around on my old account um, yeah I'll probably you know do a couple and we'll see what we can do about a gift cards to friends this weekend too uh, there's a method out for that guys I've been a bit a uh, bit, bit busy over the uh, last couple of days with uh, family and stuff like that so haven't had time to actually put up the two player merge which I'm a bit sorry about but I thought I'd throw up this um, I'll try and get the two player merge up might be a bit late you know they may may patch something on it on Thursday so you know sometimes it's not really worth me to put it up for one day and then like it kind of isn't it isn't it's whether you guys you know like if you want to you know jump on the video and hit it up on the first day and you know and then it gets patched on the second day it's you know I suppose you guys get a couple of cars done you know for you guys out there that don't already know the merge but um yeah just drop a drop a comment down in the comment section guys let it let me know if you want to see the two player merge or the give cars to friends and uh we'll whack the method up and we'll see how we go but uh both of them are pretty easy but this one was pretty simple too, you know, like once, like I said, once the job loads up and you're inside the, um, the Eclipse Tower, um, it's pretty simple from there, so. Alright, so like I said, all you wanted to do is just bring your car back in after you've merged it, put some parts on it, um, and that's it, guys. Exit back out to where your car park, car parking spot is, and that's your car merged and saved. If you do want to uh, have a fresh dupe, uh, of you know if you're making money off these things or something just uh drive the vehicle outside don't actually go into the mod shop to do anything and then you just want to call out your moc to save it so that'll give it a different plate and you know that'll be a clean dupe for you guys so all right guys if you like what you're seeing in the video smash the like on the video subscribe if you're new and hit the notifications bell okay guys take it easy peace out